Hello, it's Devin here, and we'll have a quick look today at the Felsham Jaeger box set from Warlord Games. So, this is the 22 uh, metal guys. Um, pretty cool box. Um, bit of history tells you what's in it. So, these are the guys here. Uh, I've cleaned them up and uh, primed them. So first up is the command set that you get. You get an officer and a medic and the radio operator. The medic, I was um, just doing some testing on some colors with him, but I've moved on to like a color splat, uh, this thing and I'll talk about that later. Uh, you also get a medium mortar, so this is medium mortar, three guys, just got these guys so I can remove them, they're on five cent pieces, um, and the guy at the back. This guy's down to the base with the mortar. Um, this is really nice, I really like this set, uh, it's very characterful, you know, he's dropping in, He's about to pass the next one up. Maybe he should be more like that. And this guy's, you know, he's telling him, "Hey, right, let's do it." I don't know. I don't know why I like that medium water. It just it looks good. Uh, and then you get two uh, sections of infantry, um, and I've laid them out here how they've got them listed on the back of the box. So you have an NCO with the MP40. This guy actually had a broken barrel you can see the line there where I've fixed it back on um, also had another broken barrel but we'll get to that guy in a minute um, you get three rifles three guys with rifles I should say it's very nice um, and in this squad they put two LMGs so we've got standing group the gunner and the assistant and then some guys lying down and I've managed to set them up so you know the the ammunition belt actually joins in the right spot and that was a bit tricky you can see this guy's right on the edge but they're quite nice Still good detail. Um, and then the second squad, or second uh, section, again, you get an NCO with a submachine gun, the MP40. Um, this guy had a broken barrel as well, but then I lost his barrel. So that barrel there is sculpted on. I drilled in a piece of wire and sculpted with some green stuff. Doesn't look too bad. Back here it looks fine. He's actually really good. I like this guy. He looks very... Um, come on, focus. He almost looks very modern, actually. Like the MP40 looks, I don't know, like a modern submachine gun. But oh well. Uh, you get another guy uh, with the submachine gun. This guy's carrying a grenade. Uh, then two guys with um, the FG-42s nicely detailed weapons on these guys uh, three guys with rifles One guy with a rifle and a Panzerfaust. So he's pretty cool too. And he's got another one on his back. Now, you do, you don't get exactly these uh, guys, or contents may vary, I suppose is the caveat that they have. Um, so obviously the medium mortar guys are fixed. Uh, they only have one sculpt for the medic and the radio man. Um, I believe they have two officer sculpts. 
uh, as far as I'm aware they only have two uh, LMG guys two two sets so that's the variation there um, but yeah I mean I think they have like four or five guys with FG42 so um, yeah you will see you know you could get a slight variation I know they have another guy I think if you look on the back of the box actually yeah you can see like this guy here's a different guy with Pensafass so you know um, you will get a slight variation they have several different guys with rifles and several guys with um, with the MP40s so it is an awesome box you also get um, a set of decals which will be interesting to put on I'm, I think this first set up here is like for the helmets so that's going to be interesting um, I have to learn a little bit more about the markings and where they actually go um, onto the actual uh, one other thing I will say about these guys comparing them to Warlords uh, Red Devils the um, British Airborne um, the faces on these guys in general are, are better uh, they don't have some of the some of the guys some of the British Airborne suffer from like a squashed face or a very flat face um, the Falchi Omega don't seem to have that as much the the facial details are quite good um, which is excellent because I really struggled actually painting some of the flat faces this is my little color patch here um, we've got Luftwaffe uniform here which I'll probably use well I will use on the helmets um, and the caps uh, and I'll, I, I will use it on the pants of most of the guys um, I may use um, what's that uh, German field gray on you know on the others I might do like a 50-50 mix just to sort of break it up a bit but we'll see I haven't decided on that yet um, you can see my little practice at splinter camo there that's uh, the base is German camouflage beige the green is Luftwaffe camo green and the brown is uh, German camouflage medium brown so it's very uh, an interesting pattern you need to really sort of do sharp edges when you do it uh, I learned a fair bit while I was painting this about how to do it I'll probably do a little bit more practice over here before I get onto the first guy this color in the middle here if we focus and I stop waving around um, is Luftwaffe uniform and black sort of 50 50 and I'll probably use that on the webbing um, or the ammo pouches where's the guy who's got a good a good set of ammo pouches down the front yeah you can see on this guy he's got them down the front I think if I do that that'll stand out nicely and I think I've got to go and look at more um, Falsham Jaeger uniforms um, I'm pretty sure in general they had sort of a black or really dark um, sort of ammo pouches some of them were painted in the camouflage as well uh, yeah I still got to investigate the uniforms just a little bit more to work out how I'm going to paint them uh, but the set here is really good actually um, really enjoyed it one thing with these new uh, plastic bases from Warlord which are awesome actually I really like how they look um, just rough up the surface they're really really smooth and I found the glue I was using super glue uh, didn't if I didn't rough it up they didn't stick very well um, don't know why that was but once I roughed up the surface it's you know it stuck really well so it's anything I can say that was uh, something a bit tricky about them other than that it's an excellent set so um, I'll stop repeating myself and you guys have a good day have fun and I'll talk to you next time